All right, guys, welcome back. Eternal Darkness Blind. Let's see, we just figured out to... Ooh. We are not doing good on insanity. Uh, we've got the staff. We just figured it out to use it. Right? Somewhere in this room, right? Right here. Does it say examine? It does say examine. Detail. This is a hole in the device as though something can be inserted. Perhaps a key or lever. Wow, couldn't have been more clear. So we did learn to be observant. They're not really going to handy everything, but okay. I was kind of looking around the walls and everything looking for a highlight. I guess it does highlight there. I just missed the highlighting. Yeah, so I guess I don't need to be that observant. Jeez, it's right up in the corner. Anyway, let's go ahead and rock that. Let's go ahead and rock that. Got my marble rye bread made. I mentioned that last episode. Not made. I got the doughs rising. It's got to rise for 90 minutes. Uh, then I got to do another step. Let it rise again. Maybe I'll take a picture after it, after it's fully risen or done for you guys, if I remember. Um, what am I doing? I'm trying to find metal staff. Use. Okay, and that opens that door. Sure. I mean, that makes sense that you would have to walk all the way over here to open the door over there. Makes video game sense anyway. Uh, okay, I want to go to map. Boom. Okay, let's just make sure we... No. Of course. Of course it's the wrong way. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, I'm trying to... Oh my gosh, I'm trying to run. Trying to run. Okay, it just, uh, just gets confused easily. I think there's part of me that's still. What the heck? Okay, she's fine. Let me pick that up. Pick that up. <laughs> that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing any of them, to die, to sleep. And by a to say we end. Oh my. It's gonna replace the head. I believe that was Shakespeare, I guess, right? If it's to be or not to be after that. Did she uh What time frame is this? This is something is this after Shakespeare? The time frame we're in right now? Okay, yeah, we wanna go through here. Yeah, there's still part of me that's uh, trying to control her like Laura. And Tomb Raider, tank controls, but she's not really tank. She's not tank controls. So, yeah, a lot of times, like when she's facing this way with Laura Croft, you would push up. You would still push forward. It just depends which way she's going. This one is a little more um, common. Tank controls are not generally very well regarded for characters, so they kind of exchanged that. Aw, thought maybe I figured out a way to get through there. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this one. Okay. Okay. Guess that wasn't too bad. It seems to be harder coming back for some reason in that area. I think we missed anything and in... what was that was there oh my gosh where is she now okay did she go back I think she went back thought I saw some things perhaps on the floor I guess I didn't no I mustn't have okay uh, is this the right way did I just map No, I don't think that's the right way. Yep, that's what I was looking for. I just feel like I should be able to sheath my weapon. It's from our modern games. It seems kind of rude. I'm walking around with the sword out all the time. 
Look at him. Alright. Now I bet this switches uh, time frames. Well, and I keep betting wrong, don't I? Well, it's okay. She just does that on her own sometimes. Like, I did not tell her to do that. Maybe that's part of her insanity. Like, I didn't swing my weapon there. Okay, this did this on its own. Fool! You should have run. Instead, you will die. Where is the essence of Bantarok? Ooh, that's in my heart. I think that's what that guy gave. Yeah, well, that guy right there gave it to me, I think. Oh, maybe it wasn't him. No, it was somebody else. Where is it? I will not ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. <laughs> I bet she's still alive, hopefully, right? Chapter complete. Nice. Okay, we're back to Alex. I can't remember what happened. Did we read a book? I mean, is that what put us into the cutscene? Yeah, I think we examined... Edward Royville's study is filled with arcane knickknacks, mementos of yesterday and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface, except one. The desk had been the center of activity and not a moat of dust is on it. Here, Alex's grandfather had worked, perhaps even hours, before the end. Okay, yes, remember the murder is what started all this. Is this a different sheet? No. Okay, we've examined all this stuff. I think when we sat at the desk is what uh, took us to Elias, Eli, Elias, Elia. Yeah, we've looked at all this. So these just lit, I think. Detail, a small shrine of candles. Yeah, we haven't read this before. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, right? Corresponded to the table and illustration upon the wall. Some of the candles have been lit. We want to extinguish that one. And I believe we just want to extinguish that one. We're just following the sun up there. That's Okay, is that a scroll? Perhaps for her tomb? Okay, she's looking at it. With the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There is a message tube inside. Alex has found a message tube. Let's examine the message tube. We should probably uh, save since we're in a different chapter. Save. Let's go to memory card B. What the heck? Let's mix it up. All right, especially since you can't save all the time. Did I save? Proceed. Save and continue. There we go. Okay. I wonder how I... I should figure out how to quick save on my emulator. That'd be handy, just because it would just be quicker than loading the saves from the actual game. Just doing save states. Won't cheat with them or anything. We've looked at all these. Uh, yeah. A sailor way against a stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every stroke echoes the spikes of architecture, imbuing a violent feeling as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. Grim picture indeed. I don't actually remember that. I know we've examined it. Him. I must have examined. I'm sure I examined all these. I must have just forgotten. Um. Oh, we want to. Oh, right. We're a different person. So we've got the key. Message to. Let's check it. An antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Well, we want to... Should Alex open it? E yes. Alex has found a chapter page inside of Suspicions of Conspiracy. Oh, well. Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both. He lies. 
As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Uliot, Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light, and light abhors dark, the others will not, cannot join forces. Mantarok will be just met Mantarok. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. And much you never will. Be certain to retrieve Mantrox's essence. Mm. It is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard-pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Okay, Charlemagne, uh, I read the manual. I know there's other player characters. I just don't remember who they are yet. After a chapter page is removed, the message tube is no longer needed. Alex discards it. Oh, that's kind of neat, it tells you. But we could go watch that uh, cutscene, I'm sure. It's in the cinema section in the menu, I'm pretty sure. Um. Okay, maybe we've... Let's check our map out. Wait. Okay, we've got this. Use. Can't. This appears to be a page, right? This item. Use this item to read the chapter. I think it would be. I'm pretty sure. Use it. This is just going to show us this again. I'm going to skip this. I think it From will. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. They've read this? Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor have Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. Honk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum. Carolum Magnum Francum. Deliver this to our Lord and Emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. What do you say? Deliver to this Charlemagne? So this isn't Charlemagne. This guy looks like a neuter well, a noter well, uh looks like trouble. No doer well. Uh oh. What sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Yeah, well, maybe it's a good kid after all. Oh, we can. Okay, now we're playing this kid. Message scroll, check. Message scrolls like this were often used to transfer messages securely. This one has a strange diagram on it, consisting of a pentagonal shape with strange lettering at each corner. When Anthony, okay, I guess that's us, has had opened the scroll, something strange happened. That something had been intended for Emperor Charlemagne. Suspecting a plot against the Emperor, Anthony pledged that he would warn Charlemagne. At all cost. Okay, so right now, maybe we don't play Charlemagne. Or maybe we're just trying to sort of save Charlemagne. Okay, so we got this, we got this. These are the new ones, right? Chapter 3, we don't want to read that. Don't want to... Actually, let's go ahead and save while we're here. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and save while we're here. Save memory card. Sure. 
Let's just save here. Yes, yeah, save and continue. Okay. Uh. Okay. Okay. There's map. Yep. Let's talk to this gentleman. After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs that the Charlemagne was last seen in the audience with the bishop in the visiting chamber. In audience. Yeah. Why is that button not working too well? Say the same thing? Yes. Oh, I can just punch. Don't punch anybody nice. Oh, wait. Is there another gentleman? Yeah. Anthony's president is questioned by the monks, feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monk seems rather subdued, perhaps out of respect, or perhaps out of fear. Respects Anthony? Oh, there's another one. Hello, sir. Uh, visibly disturbed with grief and despair, the monk sobs pitifully. He recounts that this is not the only death to have occurred recently, and wonders if perhaps the order is being punished for a wavering in faith. Oh, are they at a funeral? Okay. Didn't even notice. The monk cordially greets Anthony. However, he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. Sounds suspicious. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if indeed this is the truth. Hmm. This gentleman doesn't want to be bothered. Some god race, that's pretty cool. Or lens flares, I guess. JJ Abrams must have been involved in. Oh, he's looking at something. Thought he was looking up. There he is looking up. Okay, but not exciting. Oh, I can go behind that. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Uh, somebody's at my front door, but I don't think it's important. Let me hit. I'd imagine it's just UPS. Yeah, just UPS. I didn't think I had anything I need to sign for or anything, so there. They just drop something off. Sometimes they ring the bell, sometimes they don't. A funeral casket made from unfinished wood is not proper sealed and could probably be opened. It's not open it yet. Um, it seems kind of rude, doesn't it? I don't think we've talked to this one yet. The monk informs Anthony that the order is awaiting the arrival of the bishop so that the funeral rites may begin. There is much grieving to do since this is not the only recent death among the order. So this guy fell from the tower and there's been other deaths recently. So I wonder if some of the monks are learning too much. Oh, that guy's genuflexing. I didn't see him there. I think that's what that's called. Genuflexing. I should know. I was raised Catholic, but it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a day. Uh, yeah, let's open it. Anthony cannot leave yet. Charlemagne must be warned of the conspiracy against him, of course. I was just going to see what was out there. I, I would uh, have continued with my quest. With my duties. Muffled voices. We can kind of hear them. Can't really hear anything. The muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked and Anthony will need the bishop's key. To enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. Why, I need a key to get in there? It just seems kind of rude to open this, but let's give it a college go. Sorry. Uh, yes. Oh my god, what is oh, it? This devil's work. We should get out of here. Was he. Even what we have feared the most. This poor man has been the victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defined. Yeah, they take his heart out or something. Burst out from inside him. Xenomorph. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Scramasax. Scramasax. Scram. Scram. Masax. Scramasax. I've never heard that term for any type of weapon. Examine this guy again. Okay, something burst from the inside. Yeah, that's a xenomorph situation right there. Peering inside the casket, Anthony sees the body of a monk. His remnant, his raiment, 
is that of his order. Is that his garb? A uh, stain of blood that has seeped from many grievous wounds. It is a truly disturbing sight. I guess that's a word for garb. For close. Um, what is... Yeah, I've never heard... Uh, I learned two words. I've never heard rain men either or whatever. That's a true. No. Yeah. Scramasax. Scramasax. I want to check it. Uh, this Franken-Saxon weapon... Franken-Saxon weapon relies on the hefty blade to deliver deadly cutting and slashing attacks. It does not have a handguard. As it was designed for offensive rather than defensive fighting. Man, I'm surprised in all my years of fantasy reading and everything else, I... Scram a sec. I don't... That's not ringing a bell. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, are the monks gone? Yeah, that cleaned them right out of here. Even the genoflex this guy? Yeah. Wait, is there one over there? No. Who's... Oh, that's me breathing. That's me being worn out. Okay. Can't do anything up here. Where are we, Charlemagne? Is that... God, I'm an idiot. Is that... I mean, obviously it's Europe, is it? Like... London area? The British Isles? No, is it just... I wonder where... It wasn't France. I don't know. I'm a moron. Charlemagne. It seems like around King Arthur's time, but I'm probably just a complete and utter idiot. I don't know. Man, how cool is this? What is this? We're upstairs? How did we get... How did we get in here? We opened a door. Oh, no. We walked upstairs, and I guess we... Man, we've got a map. Okay, what's down floor? Won't actually let me go down floor. Up floor. X center. That's if I do that. Recenters. R1 is what? That button? That button? I don't know what R1 is. Okay, well, it doesn't much matter. And I can zoom, right? Oh, that one zooms. Okay. Anyway. But it won't let me go back downstairs, will it? Okay, let's examine. Hey! Wow! Well, she must have... Um, become a... He's looking at the light. She must have become... Okay, Pius. Is that... Yeah, skeleton man. She must have become important in history. Or was she... She was a... Dancer, that makes me think she wasn't royalty or a princess or anything. Interesting. She must have done something of note. Oh, look at this. We've got four others, though. It's good sound design in this game, too. It's kind of scary. Oh, fudge me. Is that a. Uh... Oh, wow. That's cool. Man, his insanity meter should be going up about now. A uh, cradled what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is found in human skin and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Anthony claim the Tomb of Eternal Darkness? Yeah, I think we should. Anthony's acquired Tomb of Eternal Darkness. Was that like the, like, hey, Monks, you knew that was up there, right? Can I go back up there? No, it's somewhere else. Okay, that was like a... Oh, my, he does not look good. You don't look good, Anthony. That's why it didn't make any sense. He got kind of, like, mystically transposed somewhere. Transported somewhere. Does my Eternal Darkness team say anything different? Uh, no. This is where experience spills and... Oh, right, we just never... We haven't found anything to put in one of these yet. What can be stored there? One more time. What can be stored there? No, no. Damn it, I'm not afraid of that control. Check. Right, right, right. Humans can... Yeah, we know that. Experience spills 
and enchanted items. I don't really know what experience means. Okay, examine. Oh, okay. Don't know if any of that's gonna be important. Interesting, we can examine it. That looks like it. Oh, it's even glowing. Can you, I wonder if you can turn off. Brightness adjustment subtitles. No. I mean, I don't know if I was. Or we could turn off to see how that item's glowing. We could turn that off. But I guess they want you to know it's interactable detail. A blue urn rests upon the shelf. Oh, okay. I'll pick it up. There we go. I found a blue urn. Nope. The urn has been glazed with a rich cobalt blue schlock. Instilling it with another worldly specter, spectral, spectral character is a strange signal on the side. Sigil. Sorry, Sigil. Yeah, we've kind of seen those before, haven't we? That Sigil. Weren't we collecting Sigils? Weren't Pius collecting Sigils? Or runes that had Sigils on them, or items that had Sigils on them, whatever you'd say. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Detail a mysterious gun medallion rests upon the desk. Well, we will go ahead and take that. Hello. Anthony has acquired a circle of power. Oh my. Circles of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. Okay, this only has three points. Uh, spells are magical incantations that can enhance a character's natural abilities okay circle of power describe the amount of power that a spell will have but it's still but is it an actual spell the spell list is inventory of all the spell information that has been acquired it will allow the player to select which spells to cast examine and assign to the convenience quick bill buttons selecting this okay new spell will allow the player to experiment with room combinations and discover new spells. This section is an inventory of all the worker. Yeah, I should be better at that. This section is an inventory of all the components of magical spells you have acquired. With this function, the player can review their current assignment of spells to the quick spell buttons. Okay. Spell list. I can't do anything. New spell. Anthony does not have enough components. Okay, I guess I just have a component. Oh wow, this is like a whole new. Can I get to that every time now? Yeah, I can. I can have a room. Can I do anything with said room? No. I can't like attach. No, I can't attach anything because I don't have anything. So I need, I guess this will just be the amount of, Sorry, this room will be the amount of power I could apply to a spell if I get a spell? I guess so. We'll figure it out. Let's look at this. We already checked it, actually. Oh, wait. No, that's just the sound it makes. Okay. Okay, and the rune went to the spell area. And this is a... Okay, that's not another way to get to that shortcut. Should we? Let's go ahead and equip that. I see no harm in equipping it. People don't seem to get too upset if you're walking around armed. Okay, a lot of quills. Some quills on the desk, some quills. Detail. Amongst the tombs and manuscript, a book brings attention to itself. Oddly pristine in the dusty shelf. It doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony move the book? Yes, we definitely should. Nice secret. What? Oh, okay, over there. Good old fashioned secret. I've been wittering an array of books and tombs sorted neatly in a set of shells, mostly books of a religious nature. Makes sense in a monk place. They sit beneath the skein of dust as if no one has touched them. Okay, they're not very read it, monks. Read it, monks. Okay, we've looked at about everything. Can we look out the window? Faint warm sunlight filters into the room through these windows. Tiny dust motes drift. 
Hot in the rays, the dying sun, fighting the growing shadow. So it's getting late. Okay. okay. I guess ultimately we're still kind of looking for a key so we can uh, say hi to Charlemagne and let him know what we found. How are we doing? I'm probably in the... That's a good spot. I think I'm probably in the episode right here. Save. The darkness is coming. That's not safe. Well, how about this? But it's safe up here. That's safe here. Save, save, save. Yes, save and continue. Yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. It seems like a good place to uh, continue on next time. We'll check out that little cellar dungeon area. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. See you next time. Goodbye.